Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss dual rail domino logic, keepers and multiple output domino logic from the subject VLSI design. So these topics are from dynamic circuits. The first topic is dual rail domino logic. Then the second topic we are going to see is keepers. And the third topic we are going to see is multiple output domino logic. First let us see dual rail domino logic. So this dual rail domino logic gates encode each signal with pair of wires. That is low value as well as high value. Also, the main characteristics of this dual rail domino logic is it will get the true input as well as its complementary input. Then it will produce true output as well as its complementary outputs. So this is an important characteristics of dual rail domino logic. So here the input and output signal paths are denoted by H and L respectively. So signal H is one of the input pair as well as signal L. If signal H and signal L is equal to 0, that means it is in pre-charge state. If both the inputs are is equal to 0 means then it is in pre-charge state. If signal high is equal to 0 and signal low is equal to 1 means then the output will be equal to 0. If signal high is equal to 1, that means signal high is asserted means then the output will be equal to 1. If both the signals are asserted means that means if both the signals are equal to 1 then it will be an invalid output. So here the H value indicate that it is a high value. So if it is asserted means its value is equal to 1. Similarly L indicates the low value and if it is um, asserted means then its value is equal to 0. So when the gate is precharged neither H or L is asserted that is H and L value will be equal to 0. Also the pair of lines should never be both asserted simultaneously that is H and L value should not be equal to 1. So if it is equal to 1 means then it is invalid. Next, let us see the keeper circuit. So, what is the use of keeper circuit? Normally, in dynamic circuit, there is a problem called as charge leakage. So, in dynamic mode, definitely there will be charge leakage problem. So, in order to overcome this charge leakage problem, we go for keeper circuit. So, what is charge leakage? How this charge leakage occurs? That we should know. So, in dynamic mode, is precharge high means then its value will be equal to 1 and then left floating then the voltage on the dynamic node will drift over time due to the subthreshold gate and junction leakage that means when the output is high the capacitor gets fully charged now the output is high and you are left floated so what happens means as time goes on this capacitor gets discharged so this is the mm, cause for charge leakage so, to overcome this problem, we go for this keeper circuit. Also, in dynamic circuit, there is poor input noise margin. So, this also can be overcome using this keeper circuit. So, first let us see what is a keeper circuit. So, a keeper is a weak transistor. So, this is the Keeper transistor. So this transistor is a weak transistor that holds the output at the correct level when it would otherwise float. That is this X node. If X node is equal to high, then what about the value of Y? It will be equal to low value because it is an, there is an inverter in between X and Y. 
So if x is high, the output will be low. So this low value is given to this v keeper. So if this low value is given to this v keeper, what happens means this PMOS transistor will be in the on state. So if this PMOS transistor is in on state, then it will keep the x value as high as the input does not change. Okay. So this is the concept behind the keeper circuit. Because if there is no keeper means this x value will be high and the output will be low. But as the time goes on this x value begins to discharge. That is the capacitor value begins to discharge. That is called as charge leakage. In order to avoid that only we are using this V keeper. So next we are going to see multiple output domino logic. So from the name itself we can understand using a domino logic circuit we can produce multiple outputs. So here for example consider C1 is equal to G1 plus P1 C0 then C2. Here C2 is equal to G2 plus P2 into G1 plus P1 C0. This is nothing but C1. So here C1 is a sub function that is used in another one function. Similarly, this C2 is a sub function that is used in C3 like that. So in order to produce these four outputs in a single circuit, we can go for multiple output domino logic. So this can be implemented in four compound AOI gates. Also another one important thing is this MODL that is multiple output domino logic is often called as Manchester carry chain. So this is the MODL carry chain structure. So using this circuit we can produce C4, C3, C2 and C1 output at a single stretch. So here we can produce a multiple output using a single domino logic. So here there is another one problem that is we should take care for the certain inputs to be mutually exclusive or if you are not taking that care means then definitely there will be sneak path. So sneak path means there will be unwanted short circuit path. So due to that we won't get the correct output. So we have to take care of that. I hope now you have all got the idea about keepers, multiple output domino logic as well as dual rail domino logic. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.